What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin, and today we're coming in with a hoot and a holler, a true banger. Now, before I get any further into this, red alert ladies and gentlemen, Goblin merch drop in three days on June 11th, I repeat, on June 11th, the first ever merch drop is smacking. Ladies and gentlemen, we got shirts, we got hoodies, we got coffee mugs, we got phone cases, nothing costs, but the highest price item is a hoodie for $30. $35. Hey, we kept it affordable, baby. Hey, that's the most expensive thing in the whole drop. Hey, you got 20 bucks, man, get you a phone case. You got 15 bucks, man, get you a coffee mug. We got it all, baby. Hey, get ready for the goblin drop. Hey, June 11th, mark your calendars, follow me on Twitter, and be ready for when I tweet the link. Hey, it's gonna go crazy, my gamers. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Drop a like if you do. And today's story is about the time that I went to my old friend Tim's house, who I'm not friends with anymore, as some of the OG subs might remember the video about that. Uh, and I did a bunch of molly, lost my car keys, and had to ride home in the worst fucking Uber ever. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Drop a like if you do. And let's dive right into it. So, this happened last summer, during the Coat Chronicles. And I think a kind of interesting little segment of the Coat Chronicles that I rarely touched on was the things I did with Tim. Because at the time of recording the Coat Chronicles, Tim and I were, like, on very terrible terms, right? Like, I fucking hated the guy, right? So I didn't even want to make videos involving the guy, right? Now it's been a year, I don't care. But at the time, I was like, dude, I don't even want to talk about the fucking guy. I don't even want to make content about the guy, right? So there's a lot of these kind of Tim's events that, that never really got touched on. And this is one of them. So at this point in the coke binge, I was going over to Tim's house and we would also do a bunch of fucking molly. Particularly because Tim's girlfriend at the time loved the shit. Tim would always try to like stop her from doing it. And she'd be like, come on dude, let me fucking do some. And I'd always be devil's advocate. I'd be like, you want to do some molly? She'd be like, yeah. I'd be like, hey, I got some molly. And then Tim would get all, hey, listen. Listen, it, it was funny, but Tim would do the molly too, so he was a fucking hypocrite. He'd be like, no, you don't do the molly, and then he'd eat the fucking molly. So he'd be like, no, dude, fuck you. If you're eating the molly, she's eating the molly, dude. Don't be a fucking prick, right? So, either way, uh, I slide over there, right? Link up, and it's a pretty normal day. We're in Tim's room. We're taking some dabs. He's got his little e-nail set up, and I hit up my blow man. And blow man's got some coke, and blow man's also got molly. So I'm like, dude, I want both. So I grab me a gram of coke and a gram of molly, dude. Blow man pulls up, asks him if he wants to throw for any. He's like, I'll throw for a little molly, but I'm good on the blow. I'm like, bet. Sounds good to me, dude. So, coke man pulls up 30 minutes later. I go out, do the serve, right? Come back in. I've got my gram of molly. I've got my gram of coke. We divvy it up. Tim got half of the gram of molly. So I ended up with just a half gram and then a gram of blow, right? So we're chilling out, and I decide I'm only going to do a little bit of coke, right? And by a little bit, I mean like 8 to 10 lines in like 30 minutes, right? Just just a little bit, right? Just a pinch of blow cane, right? So I'm doing my, my you know, appetizer dosage, you know, and I'm getting into it. Because this was Coke Chronicles, dude. This was like, I like I just straight up, Coke was H2O. Like, Coke was water, Coke, Coke was air. I just lived it and breathed it, right? So I'm railing this shit. And after we're scaling out the smiley, I'm like, dude, we should pop some fat rocks, right? So I take a rock and I just throw it on the scale. And Tim's like, dude, no way you'll take that right now. Before I even throw it on, it's a fat-ass rock. And he's like, no way you'll take that. I throw it on and it's a .25. He's like, you're not going to take that. I said, bet, watch me. Slam that shit down the hatch, dude. Right down the hatch. And this was one of the lucky times. See, my blow plug, he would have two different kinds of molly. He would have these, these rolls, these flats that were really shit right? He'd have these garbage ecstasy pills that were really weak, and then he'd have actual molly sometimes, which of course he'd, he'd charge a, you know, actually a pretty fair price looking back on it. He'd charge me like 60 a G, which, looking back on it for the quality, that was that was actually a really good deal, so I'm not even upset about that. But, either way, so, back on, this guy loved me, he's my favorite, I still, I love this plug, bro, I buy from, I'll buy from this plug till the day I die, right? So, either way, he hooks me up, I throw this rock on the scale. Tim's like, no way you'll do it. Tim's girlfriend's chanting in the background. We're going to call her uh, Kelly. Kelly's chanting in the background. She's like, do it, do it, do it. I'm like, bet. Down the hatch, I take that shit. Now Tim's got to take a fat rock. So Tim takes a fat rock down the hatch. Now Kelly's got to take a fat rock. So Kelly takes a fat rock down the hatch. 
We're all sitting in Tim's room taking these dabs, and we're playing on his fucking Xbox 360, and we're playing some stupid fucking games, dude. We're playing the, the good old-fashioned Cabela's, dude. We're playing uh, all sorts of bullshit fucking games on this guy's 360. Blitz, uh, football was one of our favorite games to play fucked up. That game is a, always a blast, dude. The Blitz NFL game on the 360, such a timeless classic, right? It's like the NFL street of the 360, right? But kind of more vulgar. But either way, so we pop this molly. We're chilling out. Maybe 45 minutes to an hour roll by. I wasn't really keeping track of time. And we're all sweating balls. We're rolling like shit. And it just kind of hit me, bro, right? I'm sitting there and I'm chilling. I'm gaming. And I remember all of a sudden my whole body just gets tingly as fuck. And I'm just like, oh shit, here we go, right? And as soon as that hit, I just started getting really hot no matter what. And Tim had a fan going in his room. We're all trying to hog this fucking fan. We're sweating balls, dude. We just, we can't do anything about it, bro. We're just, we're living through it, having the time of our lives. Bumping some music, taking some dabs. And Tim's dad comes up. Now, Tim's dad is, he smoked with us sometimes. I would give this guy dabs and he'd go to Jupiter. It was actually really funny. I have a lot of stories with this guy's dad. But Tim's dad would come up and he would smoke with us, but... He would, like, we'd never, we were, like, we'd always hide the harder shit from him, right? So, like, we'd be doing blow, we'd hide it. We'd be doing molly, we'd hide it. So he comes up, and we're bumping music, all sweating fucking balls, and our pupils are just bowling balls. So, of course, this guy knows what the fuck is going on, right? Of course, this guy knows exactly what's happening here, right? So... I'm like, whatever, dude. We're, we're just going to chill out and take some dabs. Not my house, not my father, not my problem, dude. So we're chilling out. He comes up, asks to take a dab with us. So we give him a little dab, and we let him go first to try to get him out. But the problem is, whenever you get this guy high, he just sits there and keeps talking about nothing for like 45 minutes every time. So as soon as we give him this dab, he's just sitting in the room, and he's watching us play fucking like Cabela's. He's like, uh, so you guys playing, uh, what's that game there? And then we'd tell him, and then he'd just sit there and be like, uh, you guys like that game there? <laughs> like, like you just be doing that shit for like 45 fucking minutes, bro. But eventually he left, right? So he gets back out of the room. We're like, oh shit, bet, finally, fine and dandy. We're chilling out for the rest of the night. It, it Like, it's literally just us gaming, chilling out, smoking, and fucking chilling, right? I end up hitting up Ashley later in the night. Ashley fucking gets a ride over, dude. She gets dropped off at the crib, so she's chilling, dude. And originally, I was gonna give Ashley a fucking ride home, right? That was the plan. I was like, yo, like, uh, I'll, uh, I'll give you a ride home, right? Uh, and she's like, okay, bet. So we're chilling. I give Ashley some Molly too. Not Ashley's chilling. We're all fucking lit. We're all playing Xbox. It's bussing in the function, right? We're all having a good jolly old time. Ladies and gentlemen, my time comes where I have to go, right? We're chilling out. Like, nothing much more happens. It's just one extra head showed up, and we were all on Molly playing video games, right? But when it came time for me to go, I couldn't find my keys, and I searched the whole fucking crib. Tim searches the whole fucking crib. We cannot find my keys for the fucking life of me, dude. I'm talking like the keys might have never existed at this point. We're tearing shit up and we can't find it. And I'm starting to tweak because I'm like, damn, dude, I got to give Ashley a ride and I got to get a ride, right? But I'm bussing balls, dude. Like, I'm fucked up. So I tell Ashley, I'm like, hey, I can't find my keys. So, like, I hate to break it to you, but, like, is there any way, like... You know, like, if you can't get a ride, I'll get you an Uber, but, like, you know, like, is, like, is there any, like, have you seen my keys, or, like, is there any way you could get a ride or something, right? Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, fuck, dude, and Tim couldn't give me a fucking ride, right? Tim, dude, we're all fucking rolling sack. Like, we're all fucked, right? <coughs> so, came time for me to go, and I'm like, damn, dude, my keys are gone, bro. My keys are fucking gone. Tim, Tim was way more sent than me. Listen, I was at this point where my Molly tolerance was a little higher. But, like, if Tim had to whip us home, we would have died. We would have died. This motherfucker literally is a two-beer tap-out. I'm not kidding. He's a two-beer tap-out. So, like, to give you guys an idea, him taking the big rock, like, that we were taking, a big deal, right? So, either way, I can't find my keys, so I'm like, fuck, dude. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to call an Uber. So, you know, I'm talking to Ashley. Ashley ends up getting a ride from her mom. And, of course, I'm not taking a ride from her. Even though her mom loves me, I'm not taking a fucking ride home from her mom while I'm sweating balls with bowling ball pupils. Like, it, just no. I'm not going to make that impression, right? So I'm like, all right, I'm getting an Uber. So I call up an Uber. I'm like, damn, dude. Well, 
my car stuck in your driveway. Hope you uh, don't got to back it out or nothing. I mean, we can push it if you want. He's like, nah, dude, uh, you're parked on a good side. You know, the, the car that you're blocking is going to need to move for a little bit. So I'm like, all right, dude. Well, I mean, if you find my keys laying around, let me know. But I got to go home and get my fucking spare, right? Because, like, I don't, like, I don't have it. I, just, I don't just ride around with my spare, right? So I'm like, fuck. So I go home. I get this Uber, right? And this Uber pulls up, and it looks completely normal. Like, it looks like a completely normal Uber from when I'm getting there. But when I get in this Uber, I get in. And I think, honestly, listen, the Uber ride, I, I think the worst was not the right word. I said the worst earlier. But, like, looking back on it, like, I cringe at this. Like, looking back, like I'm just like, oh, man. So I get in this Uber, and right off the bat, it's one of those, like, really talkative foreign guys. Like, it's one of those, like, like super, like... Picture, like, an almost, like, picturesque, like, New York taxi driver, like, kind of accent and style, but he's young, right? He's young. So I get in the car, and this motherfucker's immediately just chatting me up. So I start chatting him back, right? And we're just, we're having a little conversation. I ask this guy on the ride home, maybe a couple minutes in, to stop at the Walgreens so I can go grab a drink. He goes and stops at the Walgreens. I run my fucking robust ass in there, dude. Go get myself a little fucking Arizona, dude. Run back out. Hop in the fucking Uber. And we're chatting. And I remember, uh, listen, we, we had a little bit of a ride, right? It was like a 15-minute ride. But it felt like 15 hours, right? Because I'm sitting there, and we got into the most, like, deep, weird-ass conversation about life ever. Like, I'm talking to this guy as if I'm the Messiah. Like, this guy's, like, talking to me, and I'm like, you know what? You have my blessings, man. I think you're definitely going to achieve your goals in life if you just keep trying. You know, like, I'm sitting there, and I'm almost, like, lecturing this guy. Mind you, I'm rolling sack. I am in no position to lecture anybody. But I'm sitting there, and I'm like, you know, man, you just keep pursuing your dreams. You really got this, man. I believe, you know, I think you could do anything. You know, you have my blood, like all this shit, dude. I'm speaking to this guy like he's in a fucking confessional, you know, like just just some ridiculous fucking shit, right? And we're going back and forth, and I, I don't really remember how he was responding to it because all I remember is that I just didn't shut the fuck up. And I remember I ended up getting this guy on Snapchat. And that's how I, like, fully remember this the next day. Because I get home, right? I crash, right? I find my spare keys. I just chill on my couch. And at this point, I'm kind of coming down a little bit, right? At this point, I'm definitely coming down. So I smoke a little bit of pot, chill out on my couch downstairs, play a little bit of PlayStation. And I eventually knock the fuck out. And I wake up the next morning, and I've got a message, right? And it's from a new person that I've added. And typically, you see, like, how I differentiate, because all my Snapchat, like, the Snapchat I advertise in my videos is my personal Snapchat, right? So, tip, like, I have my story set to public so you guys can add me and see, but then the people I know in real life, I add back, right? So I can message them, right? So, this guy messages me, and it's like, you know, it's obviously, like, it's someone I've added. It's his full fucking name, right? So I'm like, okay. So I fucking swipe open this message. And he's all, hey, man, it was great talking to you last night. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, fucking, oh, God, dude. Like, what the fuck did I say to this guy? And I remember sitting there, and I left dude on red. And then I had that, like, revelation. I was like, oh, no. When I, like, actually remembered the Uber ride. And I was like, damn, dude. I really, like, I was that guy. I was that guy in the Uber. I hate that guy. The guy who won't shut up in the Uber or in the taxi. I fucking hate that dude. I was that dude. And I was pissed about it. But luckily, Tim hits me up, and he's like, dude, I found your keys. You won't believe it. I'm like, where? He's like, they somehow fell behind my washing machine. I'm like, I don't know how the fuck that happened, but, like, bet, dude. Perfect. Awesome. So I, I had my spare at this point, so now I just had to Uber back. So, of course, I call my new Uber, and this Uber's all, all normal. So I Uber back with my key and get back to kicking it at Tim's the very next day. Just back to the routine, this time with two keys on me. Hey. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did. Goblin merch drop June 11th. Be there or be square. Hey, I better see every one of y'all motherfuckers at the merch drop, dude. Every one of y'all better click the website when it drops. Hey, thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.